Hey everyone, welcome to Wikcode, where in this video we're going to create an Express application with TypeScript. So first off, why TypeScript with Express? So TypeScript is a programming language that adds static typings to JavaScript. This makes it easier to work with large JavaScript projects as errors are caught early. Therefore, using TypeScript to write Express applications can be beneficial. Express also comes with a Types NPM package that contains all the type definitions for Express. But now let's begin creating our project. The first thing we want to do is initialize this as an NPM project with npm init es6-y. This creates a package.json file with the type set to module. This means we can use ECMA script import. Next, let's install Express and TypeScript. Simply to install Express with npm i express. We then want to install TypeScript, but as a development dependency, so TypeScript dash d, and TypeScript is simply just an npm package like Express. And now let's install some type packages. So the first one we're going to install is for Express, so npm i at types dash express. And what this will do, I actually install this as a development dependency dash d, but this library here will add our typings for Express so we get useful autocomplete and just all the typings that Express provides. And we also want to install some typings for Node. We can do that with a dash d as well as a development dependency. But so we have TypeScript and our typings installed, but next we need to configure TypeScript. And we do this by creating a tsconfig.json file. The tsconfig.json file indicates the root of a TypeScript project and is used to configure the TypeScript compiler. We can create a tsconfig.json file using npx and tsc and provide it dash dash in it. So npx here is a node package runner, which allows you to run executable JavaScript packages without installing them. TSC is the TypeScript, or stands for the TypeScript compiler, and allows us to work with the TypeScript compiler. And dash dash init is what ultimately creates this tsconfig.json file. And now if we look inside, the, if we look at the contents of this file, we can see the default configurations for a TypeScript compiler. Most of the contents of this file are commented out, and uncommenting that line will enable that functionality. Some examples in here, one of them is outdir, or out directory. Let's uncomment this. And let's set this to dist, which is short for distribution. And what this does is now, when the TypeScript compiler transpiles our TypeScript files, they'll be placed in a folder called dist. Next, let's also create a folder inside our TypeScript app called source, which will hold our source code. And now, let's use this tsconfig.json file to tell TypeScript this is where our TypeScript files will be. And we can do this with the include key. And what this key here tells TypeScript is it tells the TypeScript compiler to compile every TypeScript file inside the source directory and its subdirectories. And now let's also use the folder we want, or let's let TypeScript know what we want it to ignore. This is our dist folder and also node modules. Note that these also, I believe, are relative to this include, so we don't really need these here, but I always just keep node modules and dist anyway. And now something that's important to do is as we specified our project in pax.json to be using ECMA script by setting the type to module, inside tsconfig.json, we need to set module here to not common.js, but node next. And so this module key right here sets the module system for the transpiled JavaScript files. Sending it to node next essentially means that we can use both common.js and also ECMA script. We specifically are going to be using ECMA script, but so it's important that we don't have this as common.js. But now all we need to do is create an express application. So let's call create index.ts file. And then let's just import some express code. I'm just going to paste it in here. And what we can see right off the bat is we can have some handy typings. So now if we're typing in here, say we do, if we access the request object and we do a dot, we can see all the properties thanks to TypeScript. We can also set the type of them here. Let's just reset this. So now we have our express app up and running, which basically just re receives, listens out for get requests to the main route and then responds back with the headers or responds back saying hello words hello world just access the headers and listens on port 1234. Now let's create some packs.json scripts to help run and also build this application. The first one we're going to create is a clean script. So inside scripts we're going to have clean and what this will do is remove our distribution folder and all its subdirectories. This will be handy when we want to rebuild TypeScript or rebuild our project with the TypeScript compiler. And now let's create that command to build it. We're going to call it build just like this. So now if we run npm run build, so say in the console we run npm run build, we'll remove our distribution folder and then run the project with mpx tse. Also note that if you're on Windows, this might this command will probably be a different 
I believe it's RM dir, and I think the flag might have to be different as well. But for this, we're just gonna stick with Unix. But let's just actually try this command out. So if we run npm run build, we can see our distribution folders appeared and it contains our index.js code, which is our express app. And now let's say if we run npm run clean, we can see it's been removed. But now let's work on something to work with our code in development. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna use two libraries, one called nodemon and the other called ts node. And we're also gonna save these as development dependencies. And so this ts node library here provides TypeScript execution and also ECMA script support. So support for import syntax. Nodemon here is a library that automatically restarts the node application when files are changed. And we can use these two to add re live reloading to our TypeScript application. And we're gonna do this with a script called start. And what we use is nodemon, this exec command, which allows nodemon to monitor other applications, or sorry, other programs, which for us is gonna be node with the TS node loader. So this basically tells node to load modules with TS node and ECMA script. So this will allow us to run a TypeScript project. Specifically, we're gonna start running our index.ts file. And because of nodemon, we'll have some live reloading changes. So now let's just hope this works. Let's run npm start. We get server listening on port 1234. Now let's send a curl command. So if we can do curl localhost 1234, we get back hello world. Now let's do some live reloading. Let's say hello world, how are you doing? And we can see it recompiled and we have server listening 1234 again. Let's do another curl and we get these changes. But so this is all it takes to create an express application with TypeScript. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. But besides that, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today. If you wish to support me, please consider downloading my Chrome extension Whip Scepter from the Chrome store. Um, besides that, uh, thanks again for watching. Have a good one.